the bottom line is they're afraid they're going to have to lose everything. The problem is you don't even have anything. You don't have love because you don't know what love is. You don't own your house. The bank does. If you look at truly what you're afraid of losing, you own nothing. You have nothing. You don't have happiness. You don't have love. You don't have joy. You don't have contentment. You don't have bliss. You don't own a house. You don't own a car. Nothing. You don't own anything. So this whole, oh, I'm afraid of losing everything, is a big cop-out. And the other problem is with it, that I'm going to try to start learning to illustrate and making sure we do in all of our intro classes, and at least once a month with our groups, is that you're going to gain everything Because when you truly have the experience that you are infinite, eternal, every time you look around, it's not an intellectual process where you go, wow, look at that night. We saw this beautiful Corvette today. I mean, unbelievable, brand new 2016 Stingray. And the first thing I thought was how beautiful it was and how nice it is to be able to own and drive that car. Because I was in there, I, I, that was my experience, was that's my car. It wasn't, oh, that's my car, don't be jealous, um, really, that's me driving it. No, it was pure experiential. Look at that. Look what I've created. It's God. Look how much fun I'm having driving it. Look at the pride. Look at the fear. Look at everything that's associated with it. Look at that. You gain everything because it's not an intellectual process of, oh, this is my house and that's my car. No, it is an experiential thing now. You abide in the actual truth that everything is yours. You gain everything. You finally realize what true, unconditional love is. I told that to the intro group this weekend. You do not even know what love is. And most, it was all women just about, and most of them were nodding, yeah, you're right, I don't. So how can you hope to fall into it or lose it if you don't even know what it is. And you will never know what it is until you abide in the truth that you are the source. And then there's unconditional love towards everything, then you know what it is and you can never lose it. So I guess the last thing today is do not ever feel that you have to give up anything, that you're going to lose anything, that you're expected when you come to these groups that you have to come to where I am. You don't have to come to where I am. If you just want to spend this lifetime touching your toe in, that's fine. But at least be free enough that you can have the experience, that you're not living in fear that, oh, if I have the eternity experience, then I'm, there's no turning back. There's truth. There's no turning back. But it doesn't mean all of a sudden you're going to be catapulted to the end of the game and it's over. Don't let those things come in your mind. Those aren't the truth. Something that Dawn and I got to last night was, she's really anxious to be there now. I mean, like, now, now. <laughs> My, she, I told her you'd be there in a year, you know. So the year's coming up, and she's like, it's time. <laughs> and I'm telling her, you got one more door, and she's like, I'm ready. <laughs> but in our talk last night, what I realized was so beautiful was, of all the experiences that we as the Source have, one of the rarest, not best, not special, but one of the rarest is waking up. And so to think that you're going to wake up in a second and it's over is silly. Because you as the sorcerer want to cherish every eternity experience you have, every unity experience you have, every step backwards that you have and then forward movement. So you're not, it's, you know, it's going to take you, you will wake up like this, trust me. It will happen. The first time you have your turning experience, boom, you're going to feel it. But it doesn't mean it has to be the end of the game for you. So don't let these fears, these, these ignorances of what we've been taught or what we've heard or what we feel inside stop you from having fun. Stop you from having these amazing experiences.